Let's move over to uh, Wale uh, Soyinka, Nobel Prize for Literature, one of the greatest um, African writers. Um, this morning I was very, uh, I was very in, in, uh, surprised by your mention of the fact that um, politically correct ideas often work against uh, cultural openness. Could you um, tell us a little bit about what you said this morning? Because I think a lot of people would be surprised but interested in what you have to say. I find the very notion of political correctness very condescending. Uh, it's an assumption of a kind of uh, uh, standing on high moral grounds and uh, presuming that others cannot quite attain that moral uh, height uh, or even uh, cultural uh, universalism. And therefore you say, oh, no, 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 you must not give offense here. And then you don't ask yourself the question, just. When you say you're not giving offense, do you really understand to how many millions you are, in effect, giving offense because their position is not being articulated? In other words, when we talk about culture, for instance, um, uh, and cultural dialogue, uh, we don't ask ourselves, is this a kind of a exterior directed dialogue uh, for the promotion of which we are neglecting the interior dialogue that should take place among nations. In other words, whose culture is it really? And who defines the culture? When, for instance, a tyrant or a despot of one kind or the other says, uh, this is not our culture, and this is, uh, uh, this is against our culture, uh, which, on whose behalf, which call, on whose behalf are they really speaking? Uh, is it that they've taken possession of what they consider should be the culture of their particular enclave, uh, or are they really representing the cultures of their own societies? The exterior uh, 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 communities do not ask that question. They do, they do not, they refuse to interrogate, interrogate the realities within these various enclaves. In other words, they refuse to confront the phenomenon of power, power which uses cultural uniformity uh, in order to address themselves to exterior threats or even the mere self-consolidation within uh, their own entities. And therefore, they use the alibi of uh, cultural relativism, uh, identity, uh, the, 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 the conflict, which very often is artificial because it's really posited on what power within an enclave has decided should be the culture of that entity. Within any kind of society, take any nation today, any nation at all which considers itself a kind of monolithic uh, cultural entity, you find numerous other cultures, millions of people to whom this, the culture which has been proposed by power is complete anathema. But outside, other nations, other communities refuse to take cognizance of this because of what they call political correctness. And that's why I proposed this morning that it's about time that we ended this very simplistic notion of a dialogue or conflict between East and West, between Christianity and Islam, and recognize the fact that these two monoliths, in any case, have succeeded in subjugating, taking away the voice of other cultures, anterior cultures, in numerous societies, as in my own, for instance. And those other cultures are not dead. And I think the world, the global community, can help itself by reinvestigating these, sometimes I call them invisible cultures, invisible religions, and using the ethical values within those cultures, those suppressed, marginalized ethical values, uh, to arbitrate even their own conflict. Just to summarize what uh, the basic virtue, for instance, which I attribute to a number of these invisible religions and cultures, you'll find that among these cultures, these religions, you will not find any of them which has engaged in what you might call a religious war, either a crusade or a jihad, in, its in their entire histories. And I think these self-vaunting, arrogant cultures, East and West, can humble themselves and try to learn from these anterior cultures which they have successfully suppressed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh